previously on Ultimate F1 Career. And we're around the final corner, nearly into the wall. And now head up to the line. And it's a 36-1. Very, very good. Very, very good. That is pole position, everybody. That victory, it's lights out. And away we go here in Valencia. It's a good start off the grid for us as Button is trying to have a look down our inside into turn one. But we seem to have the better of him and we leave him space. But we are through and leading after turn one. Very good start for us here. Didn't honestly think we were in the running for it. But a little bit wide there and Jano Trulli almost getting involved as well. Rubens Barrichello there as our... Uh, world Championship leader and Rubens Barrichello has dominated this final stint he's going to win another race this season what a season he is having Rubens Barrichello comes round and he is going to win here in Valencia but it's going to be us that come over the line we're going to finish in second place good result there on the podium and Heike Kovalainen finishes a brilliant third final time in qualifying. Let's head up to the line. What would it have been? It would have been a 1.46.0, which wouldn't have been enough for pole position. But it shows we have got a hell of a lot of pace ready for tomorrow. Lights out. Away we go here in Belgium. And it's a decent start off the grid for Heike Kovalainen. Will we be able to get that? position back into turn one yes we will well look at that Nico Rosberg and Timo Glock I think going down the inside there so we actually after overtaking quite a few cars managed to find ourselves remaining in 10th place good exit from the final corner and now we head round the outside of Lewis Hamilton and here we come then up to the line it's going to be fourth place and another decent amount of points in the bag hello how's it going welcome back to some more f1 2009 and another part of the ultimate f1 career mode today we are back with the italian grand prix and uh, the singapore grand prix as well of course uh, the debut for singapore in f1 games uh, looking forward to it nonetheless we've had some uh, good results this season so far including the last two races in valencia where we finished second and then in spa where we finished fourth in the end it means that in the championship at the moment we are doing very well indeed we are sixth in the championship for force india on 32 points just 12 behind nico rosberg who's having a phenomenal season for Williams it looks like Rubens Barrichello is going to be our first world champion of this series it's all looking very very good isn't it but uh, yeah let's get ourselves into the action of qualifying for the Italian Grand Prix again another race that Force India did uh, well at they um, qualified fourth I believe with Adrian Suttil there um, and I believe it was Giancarlo Fisichella's first race for Ferrari as well. Um, so Vitantonio Liuzzi took over uh, Giancarlo Fisichella's okay, drive. So here we go then. Let's uh, advance the time forward. We always like to give ourselves maybe uh, one or two laps to, uh, to, to get ourselves through. So here we go then. On to this beautiful Monza circuit. So let's see how we get on here in... Qualifying session one. Obviously, big braking zone into turn one, and we don't like big braking zones in this game, but that worked out okay. Little dab of curves on the exit there, just to give it a little bit of a boost through the Kerber Grande. And, uh, well, we're eight-tenths of a second down already, and that's just a very point-and-squirt um, sector. So it shows that we maybe do not have the straight-line speed of other teams in this parallel universe. Yeah, a little bit of uh, curves as we head up towards Ascari. For the first time and interestingly 
we managed to pretty much match the sector of Sebastian Vettel through there. <clears throat> and now coming in a parabolical, a par parabolical, parabolica. <laughs> Getting the vowels mixed up there. Parabolic, how we fly into the final corner. Little bit of curse on the exit, and we head up to the line, and it's a 126.9 as our first time of the weekend. Now, of course, we went a little bit wide through Ascari, and I think that probably caused us a, a great deal of problem there, but... Um, We've got one minute to go, I think. This is going to be our last lap. We go onto the grass a little bit there. But it is a better first sector overall. Half a second. And now coming up towards the Lesmos. Yeah, little lift on the throttle. We hit the kerb, though. Very lucky to keep it out of the wall. That's going to be a red... Ew. I think that's going to be it, though. Yeah, that's too big a mistake. I think that's going to cost us. Let's see what we're doing. You need to pick it up through that sector. Well, 1.9 seconds would just about be on the bubble, I think, of getting through. We've got to do a good job in this final sector. Well, here we go then through Parabolic out. It was a pretty smooth run through there. Up to the line we go. Oh, wow. A 127.6. Very slow. Hmm. Not good. Well, Suttil, PK, Nakajima and Bordet also going out. But that was uh, a long way off for us. Jensen Button on pole, Rosberg second, Barrichello and Weber following, Massa then Vettel, Trulli, Kovalainen, Hamilton and Raikkonen rounding out the top ten. Glock and Alonso 11th and 12th, followed by Heidfeld, Buemi and Kubica. Suttil is 16th, Piquet 17th, Nakajima Bote and we round out the top 20. So here we go then, let's see how we get on in this Italian Grand Prix, our worst starting position for quite some time but we are underway here in Italy decent start off the grid and we know that we've got uh, a pretty slippy car when it comes to getting into the slipstream a little bit of a nudge on Nakajima there a little Burst of Kurs on the exit, trying to get past Kubica. Oh, it's a big incident. Well, we're running along. Oh, dear. I'm not sure that that was the uh, the quickest way through there, but we're okay. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Oh, wow. This is not good at all. There goes PK off as well. And Sebastian Baudet just behind us. But my oh my, was that pretty awful. Well, there's just nowhere to go with the slipstream. There goes PK a little bit wide there for him. Oh dear. Well, we got on the grass there. This is not good. fair to say we're throwing it away here in Italy at the moment we we have a decent car we could have possibly scored points but gonna need a hell of a race from here to do that well we've done incredibly well here we've caught up to the pack and I think they're all sort of tripping over each other there goes PK a little bit wide again almost sent us wide with us following the same line a little bit of curves on the exit there. 
Another little dab of curse, and here we go then. Yes, oh dear. A little bit of uh, front wing damage there. That is not good. That is not good at all. Hopefully, as we come into the pits, we're going to get ourselves out of trouble a little bit here. Right, here we come then. Into the pit lane we come. Now then. You can see how, how many cars we're fairly close to. Let's sneak old Rosberg in the pits as well. Right, come on. Come on. That'll do. What's he doing? Just had to let Bordier pass, did you? Damn it. Wow, Rubens Barrichello is out. That is a huge moment in the championship. Because now somebody is going to catch up by 10 points. That's pretty huge. Anyway, Suttle in for his stop. It's not been the best outlap in the world for us. We'll see when we come round Parabolica and... What happens here? Let's have a look. A little burst of curves. And we're going to pass a fair few here. Up to 17th now. Is in front of you. Well, that is a beautiful move on Kazuki Nakajima. That's what we like to see. That was a great move around the outside of turn one. Kept it clean. It's very difficult to do in this game because they do feel like dodgems, these cars. But... Um, We're doing all right. There's Adrian Suttil into the Lesmos. Ooh. It was a possible chance, but... We're not going to beat ourselves up too much. We've got one more lap after this. Now, how much slipstream action can we get here? Well, we go into Ascari down the inside and we are through. On our teammate Adrian Suttil. Now then, Nelson Piquet is just ahead of us. And we're going to go down the inside of Parabolica. That's a good corner for us now then. Whoa, slowing right down. That was somebody coming into the pits. Look at this though. We're up to 11th now. Make that 10th. Possibly ninth. As we look at Sebastian Bourdais. Bourdais. Yeah, it looks like people have been caught in a a train that has not helped. Head down the inside of Bourdais. That's going to be a drive-through penalty, isn't it? No. Yeah. Damn it. Well, I don't think we were going to score points anyway, thankfully. Yeah, just went a little bit too hot into there. Couldn't slow the car down enough. We might still finish ahead of our team, mate. Which is good. We come round the final corner then. Up to the line. Would have been ninth place. It's going to be a lot lower. Well, Fernando Alonso had a penalty as well. 
Um, so we would have... Oh, we would have finished eight. Because Alonso had a penalty. Look how many people had a penalty. Hamilton. Yeah, I, I think we're going to be okay. We're going to finish something like 14th here. Hey, 14th. We'll take that. Well, there you go then. Adrian Sutil finishes 19th and uh, Rubens Barrichello the only non-finisher there but it's Jensen Button who wins the Italian Grand Prix two in a row now for Jensen Mark Webber finishes second ahead of Vettel in third Trulli fourth then Kovalainen in fifth Raikkonen sixth Rosberg seventh and Sebastian Bordet finishes in eighth we continue to be sixth in the championship Jensen Button now just 22 points behind his teammate. It's not beyond the realms of possibility that he could turn this around. Weber still in second place there. Kovalainen having a very good season up in seventh. Into the constructors then. McLaren go ahead of Ferrari, but uh, they both get points in today's Grand Prix. It'll be interesting to see how they get on. Uh, let's see how we move into the next um into the next grand prix which will of course be the uh singapore grand prix uh yeah all of that looks pretty good let's get into it here we go then in singapore Just, whoa that was uh that was very close to button there or oh, barrichello not sure who well, yeah, let's take you on uh, 2009 Singapore Marina Bay Circuit. Obviously, very, very similar to what we have in 2024, but uh, we'll, of course, have the Singapore Sling in this version. 2.4 seconds behind button in that first sector. I think we can find pace in this middle sector, however. Because they're surely going to be way too slow through the Singapore sling. Yeah, going a little bit more aggressive. Oh, the uh, Braun GP straight into the wall there. Three and a half seconds off now. It might not be enough to get through this time. However... Our well, next lap should be good enough, but look how much oversteer we get in these cars. It is quite hilarious. And that's why we're only doing five lap races, because uh, the handling model, if you were to do a full race distance on this, you'd send yourself insane. Right, anyway, here we come out of the final corner. A little dab on the brakes. Ooh, a little bit wide, and that is going to be an invalid lap, a 145 there but we can do a hell of a lot better than that and we need to because this is uh, going to be our final lap Rosberg quickest through sector 2 very interesting right then that's what you want slightly quicker than button in that first sector shows how much time we lost in the traffic of the first lap Ooh, just about kept a wheel on the the track there now then through the Singapore sling oh well we did the classic and Kamui Kobayashi did that one year where he went over the the curbs and went straight into the wall luckily for us we hold on to our front wing. Just 1.2 seconds behind Button's time. Can we get ourselves through into Q2 here? Sliding around. Desperately trying to break in a straight line, but equally, we've got to try and take the path of least resistance here. Right. This looks good. This has been a good sector. 
Need to just finish it off now. Yeah, a little bit slow out of the final corner. Head up to the line. It's a 43-2, which is only good enough for 19th. Damn it. Well, two consecutive P20 starts then. Vettel on pole, Weber second, then Button, Rosberg, Barrichello, Trulli, Massa and Kovalainen. Raikkonen and Hamilton round out the top ten. Heidfeld, Alonso, Glock, Kubica, then Buemi, followed by Borde, Sutil, Nakajima, Piquet and ourselves in 20th position. Not great for us. But there's six laps to turn this around. Lights out, away we go here in Singapore. It's a decent start off the grid. But we're just going to take it nice and cautious into turn one. We head down the inside of uh, PK. And we managed to get past a fair few people there. We got a black and white flag. Well, when do we not? Right, little bit occurs off the exit there. And we go around the out. So, whoa, that's got to be Bordier's fault, that, surely. Whoa, God save Piquet. <laughs> wow, what a replay of that. Dear me. Bordier sort of swung across us, and then we spun into the corner and... Uh, Nelson Piquet T-boned us. It was uh, quite impressive, really. This is not the not our best, is it? But to be fair, it's not not the sort of circuit we thrive on. But the main thing is. Stick with the cars in front because I think the AI are crazy around here. Well, there we go again, just losing the back end through these corners. It's so hard to control, and I know, you know, maybe if we set up the car and stuff, it wouldn't quite be as bad, but um, <laughs> yeah, the back end just feels. It's like you've got all of your rear brake bias on. That's how it feels. But Vettel is leading the Singapore Grand Prix. Well, it's very interesting for Rubens Barrichello because he was starting in P5. Dear me. Again, just losing the back end into those heavy braking zones. We're just trying to stay in it for now. But yes, uh, if Rubens Barrichello doesn't score here again, which could could happen, it really turns the championship back on its head, doesn't it? Okay, so every man and his dog seems to be in for their pit stop. We're in at the end of this lap. We've extended by one lap, which we don't often do, but it felt the, the better way to do it in terms of tyre wear and the likes. Here we go then, into the pit lane. We'll put on a fresh set of tyres, refuel 
vehicle and have you back on the track in no time. Should hopefully be a slightly quicker stop. Yeah, not bad. And now it's just pushed to the finish. Three laps to go. We've got more people in the pit lane here. the 15th now Jensen Button is the car in 14th at the moment we were talking about him potentially getting some points on his teammate but uh, it doesn't look like it at the moment well here we come through the final sector for the final time in this race weekend and uh, it's not been a good one for us we're going to finish 15th in the end in a bit of no man's land to be honest with you but uh, we fly over the line and it is 15th place a disappointing episode in terms of points today and it's Sebastian Vettel who wins the Singapore Grand Prix. He beats uh, Ma uh, Max Verstappen, <laughs> Rubens Barrichello in second, Nico Rosberg third, then Mark Webber in fourth, Massa fifth, then Kovalainen, Hamilton and Trulli round out the points of paying positions. Raikkonen in ninth, then Heidfeld in tenth, Suttil finishes twelfth and we finish in fifteenth. Into the championship then, sixth, uh, sixth place still. In the championship, Vettel just 20 points now behind Rubens Barrichello. Jensen Button now 30 points behind once again. It's uh, not looking good for the actual 2009 world champion. Into the constructors and, uh, well, we're level on points with Toyota. We are still fighting for sixth in the championship. Don't think we're going to beat McLaren and Ferrari, but uh, we'll give it our best shot. Okay, awesome, right, there's our race review, yep, they're not happy with that, but anyway, we are going to be back next time out with our season finale, we have got three races for you in the next episode, we have got Japan, Brazil, and Abu Dhabi for the first ever running of the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Looking forward to it. Hopefully you guys are too. If you've enjoyed that, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for one more F1 2009 video before we move on to F1 2010 and uh, really start getting properly into the series then. Hope you guys will join me for that and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.